Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Testing Mini Bytes. I am your friend Amun Shaktivel. In this video, we're going to see how we can integrate our Selenite with Allure report. Again, if you haven't watched the Selenite playlist, I highly recommend to do watch it. Um, and then I have covered text report as part of Selenite, but everyone in the uh, comment section were asking, hey, how can we integrate with Allure or extend reports? Again, extend reports is a bit of a, a very difficult task, like we need to write a lot of code, and stuff like that. Again, I have a separate playlist on Excellent Report and Selenium. You can use the same thing. But what I highly suggest you to do is using Allure Report because Selenide has a built-in support for Allure, which which can which can save you a lot of hours. Um, in in you know basically spending a lot of hours creating a beautiful report. So so in this video, we're gonna see how we can create Allure reports for our Selenide automation. Right. Good. Uh, so let me go back to the uh, IDE and if you notice here uh, this is a project that we have created um, and what I'm going to do is let's say this is an existing uh, target folder let's say I'm using J unit even if you use test ng there is a capability that you can generate J unit reports right so once you have allure installed in your machine for example uh, if you if you do uh, basically brew install allure uh, it should basically install Allure for you, right? Uh, maybe in terms of uh, Linux and Windows, it's a little different, but again, it should do that for you. Again, it's uh, for me, it's already there. So it's saying it's already installed. So the easiest way is you don't do anything. You can just directly you utilize the Surefire reports that your JUnit created uh, to create a J Allure reports. Let's see how to do that. So what I'm going to do is uh, Allure, uh, and so, and uh, I just need to provide the path where this whole thing is located. So, sure, fire reports. That's it. So, once you do this, basically, it starts to create a report for you. And and don't expect too much from here. Uh, basically, it only have the the console logs that you didn't right. So, I didn't do any sort of efforts, but you know, this is this is better than better than the JUnit report, and we didn't do any sort of efforts. And if you are happy with it, you know, just be, uh, you know, happy with this. But again, if you if you are someone who looks for uh, step level details here, like what are all the different stuff that gets executed here, you want to know all the details, then there is an, again an easy way in uh, uh, Selenite that you could generate it, right? So without spending a lot of time. So that's what we're going to do. To do that, uh, so let's go to a project uh, that is present here in uh github selenite examples right so even if you type selenite plus uh allure reports you will see all these things right so so what these guys are mentioning is uh again the author of selenite is recommending to have leaner reports that's why we recommend using a uh, junit reports or the max text report but again sometimes the managers will be crazy and they will ask you for html reports and in this case they're asking us to add this dependency to the project and add a single line to the test. So let's go ahead and add this particular dependency uh, in the pom.xml, right? So let's go ahead and create a dependency. And this should be allure-serenite. And the version is this, right? All good here. But again, we need to add this to the before all, right? Let's go to a test setup class. This is a common base class. For example, this is a test class. This extends the test setup. So I, I can go here and do, why should I even type it? So let's copy this and put it here. Again, I don't need any sort of customization. So just, just one line of code that we are adding here um, and that will do the job for us. So I'm doing all the imports. Uh, so, so I'll use Selenite is basically not available here. So for that, what I need to do is, so this, this recommendation here is not complete. So they have given a sample project. Let's, let's open it there. Let's go to the pom.xml and let's copy all the important stuff that we need. So for example, here they are using three, two things. One is Allure version and Aspect J version. Let's copy these two and let's come to the pom.xml and let's put it in the properties, right? And apart from that, they also have two dependencies that were related to Allure and JUnit. So in my project, I'm using JUnit 5. So you have to copy this. In your case, you can also use testng, right? So let's copy this. 
and let's put the dependency here right this is all good and i also noticed that my selenite dependency is out outdated so basically i can update this to latest uh, yeah so all this looks good and it says hey this dependency seems to be already available so let's remove this yeah so so all looks good uh allure version is 2.20 it's there it's there all good and then uh we need to add the plugins that were needed so let's copy this build whole build uh tag and let's go here and let's put it here and then uh, there there will be something that we don't need for example uh, the compiler plugin we don't need this because we are using 11 java 11 for the compiling so we can't remove that uh the surefire plugin is where you know they are setting up the listener so we need this so the report will be generated in the uh, project build directory so for maven projects it should be the target folder so you need to see allure results folder inside the target folder after execution so this is all good um again if you want to host this uh, html report you can have this but for me i don't think i need this um and then let's go here and then do one uh you know maven re-import so once this is done um there is some kind of error here let's go and now import this class all good looks good and then this time i can go here um can post the existing ones i can create a new terminal and then just run maven clean test uh, it will automatically pick and run the test that i have this is that particular test that it will run uh, and once that is run we need to see a new folder here that for all your report all your results right I guess I, I'm not a big fan of using HTML reports. Like I used to generate a lot of beautiful reports in the past, but then my thought process have changed over the period of time. And simply now I use JUnit reports, right? Uh, I think it's it's taking a little bit of extra time, like unable to find an extra match, whatever. It should basically launch it. Even if it fails, that doesn't matter. We still need a report. Uh, Let's wait for a couple of seconds. So if you notice here, I have just, uh, you know, uh, passed the recording for a bit. So now the test is complete. And if you notice here, there is a new folder called as Allure Reports. And that's it. So so what is the effort that we did? Uh, we just added few dependencies into the pom.xml. And then we added certain plugins. Uh, that were required to create this particular allure results once that is done you can either run a maven allure serve command or you can basically go here uh, go to the allure plugin and then call this allure serve yeah, okay you can also manually type it's like it's up to you uh, so yeah you can also do that but in my case i always prefer running it from here so it's much easier for me right so basically it it exactly runs the same command okay we can do either of that so if you notice here it, it just calls this as serve command once that is done you you basically get this results and this is more than enough right so yeah that's it so you have all these steps already there right so selenite is very smart it know it knows what it is doing so we are finding the username we are setting the value we are waiting for the password uh, to be visible and then we are setting the value all these steps are recorded and if there is a failure then it will also record the screenshot you have beautiful graphs that you want to show to your managers um all the other stuff that you want to do right you can you can explore more about it uh, uh i think you find this video useful if you do that, do so please share and subscribe this uh channel to and yeah see you guys in another great video until then bye bye